Hi, St. Gregory, it's Miss Arsenault. If you've chosen recycled pro um, project, um, there's different things you can do. You probably have seen all kinds of stuff, but I mean, I have so many water bottles because we drink a lot of water. Um, I have cans from, you know, doing, um, you know, just eating vegetables and um, different things that you have. I'm gonna show you some different things that I made out of water bottles. Um, first of all, you can paint these water bottles. Um, hopefully you have like acrylic paints would be the best because they don't come off. Um, normally they shouldn't. If they get beat up by the weather, they may. But um, I've taken, you just cut off this little tap, uh, you know, the little label. It comes off easy. Kind of actually just wrapped around. I would make sure that it's dried out because, I mean, believe me, water stays in there forever. Um, what I've done is I have taken them and I have just painted Painted, painted, painted. So first of all, one I painted, um, and then once I did it, I cut them. I cut off the end of it and cut strips. This is always a good, the end of it where you drink through is really the good place to connect things. So I painted the whole thing, I cut down, and I made this flower. So this flower is, I painted on the backside and I made leaves and made this beautiful flower. So basically, again, it's painting and then you just cut strips up. You don't cut them off, so they're still attached. Um, and then I took a uh, tab of a different, like a, uh, I think it was a Gatorade, and put that as my center of my flower. So here's like a flower. I just used a stick and some duct tape I had, but you could just, you know, anything, tape around it, and made my own little beautiful flower. Another cool thing, I took um, one of them and I painted it like a rainbow. And then once it was all painted like a rainbow, you can take your scissors and just, these bottles are so thin, and just go like this and cut off the end. So again, when you were doing the other one, you were cutting straight up like this, but you stop at a certain point. The This rainbow is like a wind chime. It's like a wind chime you would stick outside. I painted it with rainbow colors. Then you're going to take it and you're going to cut it at an angle and you just keep going and going and going and going until you get to the top. I'll show you that with one that I'm gonna do, um, another one I made. So basically you took it and so the wind, when it's outside, the wind will carry it. I saw it and like it just goes up and down like a, kind of like a slinky. Anyway, so the other one I was making, cause my favorite colors are, besides purple, um, is teal and blue. So I decided I was gonna make one with three of them hanging. So here I've done this, I've gone ahead and painted it. I kind of painted it teal and then put a, let's take you know, a little bit of blue, but you can do any colors you want. Again, I'm gonna take it and just cut off this end. Yes, you don't have to even worry about painting the end, I just kind of painted a little bit on it. But see, I have it like this. Then you have to cut at an angle, so mom can help you with this. You cut at an angle and you start just turning it as you cut. You try to keep it about the same, and as you, eventually you're gonna go all the way. Just keep going. See how I'm trying to keep this part like equal right here as I'm going. Just keep going, keep going. And actually see how I'm getting closer to the top. You have to do it at an angle or it won't go all the way up to the top. So once I got it here, look, boing, boing. Um, I had some ribbon or like some tie that I had. Um, I actually happen to have blue, so but you could have anything. You could use fishing wire. You could do anything you want. I'm gonna tie a little piece. I'm gonna tie around the part that we drink out of. Remember the top part that we drink out of, because that's like the top of our little design. So I'm gonna tie a knot around it. Um, your mom can help you with that if you don't know how to tie a knot. Here's somebody's horn in my neighborhood going. Then I'm gonna tie this, look, kind of, so I have three of them. So the wind is really gonna take these, I love it. So I have them around this, again, a stick, just from a tree I found on the ground, on a walk. So I'm gonna tie it on. And then I'll get another, um, some more ribbon, and I will tie it outside. But again, the wind will take them and catch the, you know, it's just a beautiful design made out of 
bottles, water bottles. So make your own. You can do anything. I would love you to do something totally different than what I just did. Um, but you can make anything. You can make, you know, the rainbow color. You can make flowers. I keep saying flowers because it is springtime and that's when a lot of flowers come in. Share your video. Please send me videos and show me. We were talking about that in our faculty meeting. We'd love to see videos of your art and anything that you're doing because it's so much fun. Um, take care.